pop the top. It's time for another video to drop. And today, bring you guys episode 11 of the WWE 2014 series. This is the first episode of the Cruiserweight Classic. We are getting the tournament started here tonight. This is a 10-week tournament. And this, of course, is week one of said tournament. Who, at the end of this tournament, will be crowned the very first ever Cruiserweight Classic winner. Let's go ahead and get on into things. We kick things off. Mauro Ronaldo and Joey Styles are at the top of the full cell set in the uh, interview or announcing area, excuse me. And we see Mauro Ronaldo and Joey Styles greeting us with the full cell universe in the background. They are filming for full cell university. This is a similar set, exactly similar set to the CWC we saw in real life. Mauro welcomes us. This is Mauro Ronaldo's first interview or announcing gig. I gotta keep saying interview. Is Morrow's first announcing gig with the WWE. Joey Styles, of course, returning to the announcing booth after years of not being on ever since the ECW original or ECW 2005 show, I believe, or six, yeah, two, 2006. He has not announced. So both of these men will be our announcers, and they tell us that tonight we have a load of action. Main evented by Takamichi Noku versus Kota Ibushi. So let's go ahead and get on right into things. And we kick things off, and let me go ahead and say, before this uh, even happens, I'm not expecting any of these matches to do extremely well, for the simple fact that A, their crowd's going to be turned off by matches with jobbers on the show, seeing as they don't have high pop, and B, it's a sports entertainment company, and none of these guys really have big pop. So, nonetheless, and about that, a terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, La Sombra defeated El Liguero in 9 minutes, 43 seconds, by pinfall with a brillante driver. So Lissandro picks up the win here in our opening round, our very first ever match of the Cruiserweight Classic. Ignore the rating, I guess. This really, this, this section of the series really isn't going to be based on ratings at all. This is just you got to imagine the Cruiserweights going at it, a classic, pun intended, of a match basically, because the ratings aren't going to do dick in this series. Nonetheless, though, La Sombra picks up the win. He moves on to the next round. Eligero puts up a great bout, but eh, he just can't get it done. Afterwards, these two men shake hands just like they did in the real CWC, and they raise La Sombra's hand. La Sombra is our winner. Got a 48 D+. Plus. We then go backstage. Well, not backstage, but we see a, basically a vignette of Rich Swan. Rich Swan tells his backstory, tells about his father being killed, tells about his mother being, or his mother dying, and then tells about growing up from the age of 15, home alone, working two jobs, going to school, and then going to wrestling school. This man was almost homeless. He lived by himself since the age of 16, but now he is here in the WWE, and he is here to try and win the Cruiserweight Classic. They got a 50 D+. Plus. We then go on to the next match in the Cruiserweight Classic. Jonathan Gresham defeated Noam Dar in 9 minutes and 58 seconds by submission with an octopus stretch. And this got a 28 E. Jonathan Gresham picking up the win here. Moving on to the next round, Noam Dar did put in a great effort. And I would assume that this match would be very submission-based. Maybe Gresham getting caught in the uh, knee bar, but ba basically fighting out. And then locking in an octopus stretch once they get back up to their feet. These two did not actually get the note for two jobbers on the show, so that's pretty good. Uh, 28E, not bad. Uh, afterwards, we do the same gimmick. Uh, Gresham and Noam Dar shaking hands. Gresham getting his hand raised in the air because, hey, he's moving on in the CWC. They got a 50 D+. Plus. Afterwards, we go on to the semi-main event of tonight. In a bout that had a terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, Bobby Fish defeated Cedric Alexander in 11 minutes, 48 seconds by pinfall with a running single-leg high knee strike. Uh, Bobby Fish debuted his no-giving knee to gimmick, and it got an initial rating of great. Cedric debuted his gimmick of great. They have great chemistry, and it showed their performance. Good stuff. 44 D. Good stuff on Bobby Fish. Good stuff out of Cedric Kendrick. Cedric Kendrick. Jesus. Cedric Alexander. After the bout, we had both men shake hands, Bobby getting his hands raised. In the background, we hear, please sign Cedric. 55 C-. minus. Basically our best rating so far on this show. Then we go into our mate. Damn. All right. I, I mean, okay. I, I saw the rating and I just stopped what I was saying. We go into our main event of the evening, Kota Ibushi versus Takamichi Noku. In an abyssal match, Kota Ibushi defeated Takamichi Noku in 12 minutes and 25 seconds by pinfall with a 6.30 senton. The crowd were totally toned off. To I could, I botched that all to hell. The crowd were totally turned off by a match between jobbers on the main show. Like I said, we got to try to ignore ratings here. For the simple fact that this is only the CWC portion, they're not going to get good ratings. 
the majority of them are not going to get good ratings because some of them don't even have popularity in the United States. And I believe this was the case with Kota Ibushi. If not, it was, he was in the low tens. Takamichi Noku, on the other hand, I'm not sure, but it's probably because of Kota. This got a 13 F+. <laughs> Jesus Christ. After the match, they shake hands. Kota Ibushi gets his hand held high, and he wins. And that's the last sight we see of this episode of the Cruiserweight Classic. So all in all, we have Kota Ibushi, Bobby Fish, Jonathan Gresham, and La Sombra advancing in the tournament. This entire show got a 24E rating. There are no specific comments to be made about the show, and we did not lose popularity at all because this was, in fact, a B show. So with that said, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you're excited for the CWC to be coming at you. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, because as always, we do have daily content here. Daily uploads of the WWE 2014 series. And as always, take it easy, guys.